In this scenario, I would ask the customers to look at conventionally produced pork in a different perspective. First of all, just because they are conventionally produced does not mean the pigs are mistreated, uncomfortable, or poorly taken care of. According to the USDA, there is a full text report issued four times yearly presenting data on the U.S. pigs, including inventory number by class, weight group, and value of hogs and pigs, farrowing and farrowing intention. This also includes the number of hog operations and the percent of inventories by size. Keeping an accurate number of these things ensure that the U.S. is not overproducing swine. Swine that are kept in small, confined facilities can be closely monitored for any signs of illnesses and are less likely to be contaminated with parasites that cage-free swine may be exposed to. According to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, most swine are raised in all-in, all-out systems. This is where each room or building is completely emptied out and sanitized between groups of pigs. In these types of facilities, the temperature and food consumption can be monitored and altered for ideal weather and ideal diet plans for the animals. Although it may seem that conventionally produced pork is a negative thing for the animal, looking at this from all perspectives, you can see the benefits for both the animal as well as the human in taking them.